Friends. 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 Oh, where's my friends? <gasps> the Fiat Multipla. One of the ugliest cars to ever grace this planet. But beyond the goofy face, it's a real masterclass in packaging and creativity. But up until now, no one's really brought that same level of ideas into the EV space. So that's why Zika got in touch and said, you might want to try this. But can a Chinese brand really bring these ideas to a global market? Well, we're gonna find out. This is the Zika mix, and this is the Fully Charged Show. We've teamed up with Duracell Energy to celebrate their brilliant ecosystem of home energy products and their platinum homeowner offer by giving away a Duracell bunny. To win, simply watch to the end and answer a question about Fully Charged. Zika, the cool child of Geely, the one which receives the most toys, the most swag, the most drip. Is that what kids say these days? Better put on my hat backwards. Yes, of course, Zika have been on a bit of a roll in bringing out new cars. They brought out five cars so far in the last three years, since about 2021. And this is number six, the Zika Mix, an MPV for everyone. So who are Zika? Well, Zika's very much like BMW in the 1980s, understated, a bit premium, cool, but also fast as fridges. Our model today doesn't have a fridge, but of course, doesn't really matter. Now, in this cathedral, in this living room, in this new area of electrification, we're seeing a brand who's not afraid to take risks. I mean, this is a real living room concept, which boggles my mind, but it's not the three sliding doors that are this car's best party trick. Oh no, it's these swivelly seats. Both seats swivel around to make this actual living room on the inside. Of course, it doesn't have a B pillar. That's hidden in the door. And you've got this massive opening, 1.48 meters squared, to get in and out on both sides. So perfect then for that barbecue in Australia. You've even got V2L to plug in your electric barbecue. As much as I love these swivel seats though, you know what else can swivel? Boring designs from legacy automakers. Because this is where the mix really shines. I mean, look at it. I love how they've carried over the design language from the 007 sedan and the 7X SUV. It's so distinctly Zika now, and I love the direction that they're going in, but it does remind me a little bit of the canoe, that van that we've seen, I think, coming out from America, perhaps in the next few years. But here is the Zika version. I love this. I just, ah, oh, just, oozes minimalist class. Now, if you come down here, you've got these programmable LEDs up here and you've got your really kind of laser kind of lights down here. And I love how the headlight wraps around over the wheel arch and hides two of your cameras in here. Just understated. Again, the wheels, super understated, very minimalist, and they're wrapped in Michelin specialist EV tires. I'm loving how the whole industry is now moving in this direction. Coming down here, we've got two-tone paintwork. So really bold, slab-sided, bright colors on the side, obviously not with the white car, and then a more muted top part hiding the interior, make it feel a little bit more compact up here. We will get to this party piece a little bit later on. So first of all, we're gonna come round the back just to admire a little bit more of this minimalist exterior, again, Nothing on here, no frippery, no added badges, no unnecessary items. Zika really know how to do the understated class very, very well. Again, you've got your single light up here, your button for your boot, your camera, and of course, the name right there. Let's take a brief moment to talk about the charging and the batteries in this car. Now, all Zika cars at the moment seemingly come with 800 volt architecture, as standard. What does that mean, Elliot? It basically means super fast charging, 10 to 80% in 10 to 15 minutes. So absolutely brilliant. These are becoming much more common now, which is really, really good. Obviously you need to find the right charger and hopefully the export models of this car will have the same system as well. I expect they will. The car basically comes in two battery pack sizes. One is a 76 kilowatt hour 
LFP battery giving about 550 kilometers of CLTC range. The other is a 102 kilowatt hour NMC battery giving about 700 kilometers ish of CLTC range. Now, let's talk about the price. And I get a lot of complaints about this. One, Elliot, these prices are not relevant to us overseas. Yes, I know, I know they're not. And these prices will never come overseas. Yes, I know. So let me do a comparison. The Zika Mix is the same price as the Tesla Model Y here in China. So what would you rather have? The Mix or the Model Y? They both come in at 279,000 RMB, about 34,000 pounds or about 60,000 Australian dollars. That is incredible value for money for what you get inside this car. When I first got into this car, it felt very alien to me. There's this humongously long dash stretching for miles in front of me. I almost can't see the end of it. And to have all this interior cabin space in front of me is a very unusual feeling, but you soon get very used to that. It's an extremely refined ride. It's very easy to drive. There's no weight in the steering wheel. The accelerator and the braking is effortless. This is a car for anyone to jump into and they can comfortably drive it. You don't feel the weight of the car, you don't feel the heft, you don't feel the size. And that's what the true leaders of the EV space can do. Put anyone in an electric car and they can just get in and go and it's extremely easy to use. I mean, light and visibility in here is fantastic. You do ride pretty high, probably about SUV height in terms of where you're sitting. So you get a great look all around you. I've got a pillar glass. I've got a huge glass roof above me. I've got this massive windscreen in front of me. And even if that is not enough, I have cameras all around me. I've got the computer telling me, are there cars, are there peoples, are there bikes? And then there's lots of warning sounds to make sure that I don't get too close to hitting anything. But the most surprising thing about this is its maneuverability in small spaces. Now the front wheels can turn up to 50 degrees in either direction, which means maneuvering in super tight spaces was really easy. And that's where this car really shines. It's just a good all rounder. It just does everything really well. And this is what I like about Zika cars in the last year or so. They've just become this really confident brand of producing good quality, high quality cars for a bit of a premium, but then you get so much in that price and driving them is such a pleasure. Sorry, can we, can we just go back to the interior again? Because, it, well, it's incredible, you'll see why. Open both doors, both sliding doors, two of the three, to reveal the cavernous interior. Here we go. Oh, I mean, this is a pretty unique thing for a car to have seats which face that way. I think it was more popular in motorhomes back in the day, but these days no one really does it, but they package it like this. And actually, I do think it's very functional. It's not just a gimmick to sell more cars. I do truly believe this makes a lot of difference in people's lives in picking a car. So in here, what does it feel like? Well, above my head, I've got 1,350 millimeters of space in here. So I've got loads of headroom up here. They've went really simple with this interior. It's one color, it's like Alcantara material. It's beautiful, but it's understated cool. All of these, I have an armrest and I can control the leg rests. All three of these have individual leg rest control. And then I can tip the seat back. I can adjust the pitch. I can adjust everything in here. Genuinely, it's a very comfortable place to be. But I do want to tell you a few more things in here. First of all, I have this center console, which is basically my fridgy picnic table. Now this is just a storage box in my version today. I think it also comes in fridge versions. Again, storage in there, but, so this can go backwards and forwards, electronically controlled, of course. And I have my official Zika table, which I can then plug in to the side if I can get it open. So we're in the interior, the front of the Zika Mix, and I have to say it's a very premium feeling interior. 
straight away on first glance. Really varied and outstanding materials in here from the Alcantara, which is all around, to kind of this dark, rich, blue, leathery material up here with then metal ins inserts down here, which got a lot of fine detail lights and then metal buttons down here, bit of leather, but they're trying to do a little bit too much. My biggest complaint is the interior. It doesn't feel like the exterior, which is very focused on what the design is like. Is like. In here, it's a design's a little bit more frenetic, I would say, but the material quality is fantastic. Now, this does feel like you're driving in a cockpit of a, a massive tanker or a boat or something, but overall, I do like it a lot. And so I think it's an interior that I would love to spend a lot of time in. I'd love to go on a road trip on one of these. I just think it's it's perfect. It's so multifunctional. You know, we've only explored a few of the modes in here, but it's got camping mode. It's got a sleeping mode for your baby. And this is just related to the seats. There's nine different settings you can have with the seat settings to change them, swivel them around and change them around. You can even do yoga in here. There is not much more that you can ask from a car than this. Now this is the third sliding door on this side. The driver's door is the only door which doesn't slide. But again, it makes for such easy uh, ingress into the car. And again, I've already talked about this interior a lot, but as an actual passenger, if you're sitting in here, I mean, you've got so much leg room and you don't sacrifice that much boot space. There's a connection here for USB-C and I think you can have a screen at which plugs in here. As a, just a, a normal back of a MPV or car, this is so much better than an SUV. I truly think this might be my next family car. It is that good in here. With those seats in those positions, which do slide backwards and forwards. And look, there's about 568 liters in here. There's a full floor, but there's not much in there. And I think you can move these uh, back to, depending on where you want the seats to be. Both of these two seats are isofixed. In fact, the front passenger seat is also isofixed. So three isofixed seats in here. And you can control the seats from up here, power outlet here, and proper 220 AC voltage power outlet here. Again, practical height, practical size, practical plug, practical buttons to move the seats forwards. Yes. Yes, this is what cars are all about. This is what makes you really, really, really excited. Are you the kind of person who misses the multiplier? Sobs over the scenic. Well, sob no more because the Zika mix is the answer to all your questions. This is such a compelling new product in sort of a new category, practical, Brilliant. I think that's the best way to put it. And this is a car that's got global ambitions and will be coming to a shore near you in 2025. And especially for those of you in Australasia, expect to see this on your roads within the next few months. You lucky buggers. We're really excited to partner with Duracell Energy to showcase their amazing renewable energy solutions. If you want to reduce your energy bills and join the renewable energy transition, installing home battery storage and solar panels at home is a great way to start. Duracell Energy's ecosystem of products typically partners with solar panels, but they can be just as effective without it, particularly for electric vehicle owners or anyone looking to take control of their energy. And with Duracell Energy's Platinum Homeowner Offer, viewers can get a custom service that pairs you with top quality products and the best installers in your area. Your installation also comes with a 20-point check, a six-month performance review, system health checks at three and 10-year periods, and outstanding local UK customer support every step of the way. Plus, Duracell Energy's batteries, inverters, and EV chargers work together on one easy-to-use app. With features like dynamic tariff integration and grid services, you'll be able to maximize your return. Ready to get started? You can get your quote today. And don't forget, we're also giving away a Duracell Energy Bunny in every episode. Just answer the question about Fully Charged by following the link in the description. Good luck.